Hi everyone, my name is Brad Nunes. I'm the current analyst supporting Netmotion, and this video is going to teach you how to successfully use Netmotion in the field. Uh, before you even head out and consider using your device in the field, what you really want to make sure is that your device is ready to go. So, in preparation 12 to 24 hours before you head out in the field, make sure you've done a couple of things. That is, turn your laptop on and make sure it is plugged into both power and also plugged into your network. Um, if you have a docking station, it's as simple as dropping it right on the docking station. If not, again, make sure your power cord and your network cord are both plugged in and your device is turned on. This will make sure all your updates are done and you're not slowing down the computer in the field. Next, make sure you've logged into your device while it's on the network. Uh, that will make sure you're remembered on the computer and you can use it without having it plugged in. Lastly, make sure you do a trial run before you head out. Follow the next steps as we're going to teach you how to use your error card and make sure that that error card works while you're in your office. That makes sure you're not going to run into any surprises, you make sure you have all your software downloaded ahead of time and you're ready to do your work in the field. Alright, so step one is you need to plug your error card in. This is your error card, the Netgear error cards we're currently using. Uh, to plug it in, you simply open it up like this. You then locate any USB port on your device, such as a port like this. The only ones you're not allowed to use are the USB ports that have the little battery symbol. The device does not like to work well in those, but any other USB port will do. You simply plug your device in, like so, and it should light up, saying Netgear Air Card. And after about 30 seconds or so, it should then say uh, tell us on it and ready to connect. And then you're ready to go on to your next step. After about 30 seconds or so, once you've plugged your air card in, the air card watcher software should launch automatically. If the software doesn't launch automatically, you can also launch it by clicking on the Air Card Watcher software located on your desktop, or sometimes it's located on your taskbar down below. If you cannot locate the icon on your desktop or your taskbar, you can search for it by clicking on the Start menu or Start bubble and typing in Air Card. The application should be at the top of the list. If you cannot find the Air Card Watcher software by searching, likely your software is not installed and you will need to contact the service desk for assistance. Once the AirCard Watcher software has launched, you simply click the green connect button and the device should connect to TELUS. You'll notice the speed of your connection here and also uh, the KBPS should uh, tick over some numbers. If you've made it to this step, you've completed step two. Once you've connected with the AirCard Watcher software, you're ready to move on to the third and final step, which is connecting with the mobility client. To connect with the mobility client, launch it from your, either your desktop or the quick launch bar down below. If you can't find the icon on the desktop or the quick launch bar, you can search like you did in step two for the AirCard Watcher software using the keyword mobility. If it doesn't show up in your search list, it's likely not installed and you're gonna need the service desk for assistance. Once the mobility software launches, you simply click the connect button. You'll notice the icon goes from orange to a little arrow to green. Once it says green, you'll notice the bytes ticking up on both the sent and received. You are fully connected and on the Interior Health Network. You can now use all your applications like you were plugged in at the office. You're ready to go ahead and do your work. So we've now covered the one, two, three of connecting to Netmotion. Step one, plug your air card in. Step two, connect with your air card watcher software. And step three, connect with your Netmotion mobility client. When you're ready to leave a client's home, you simply do everything in reverse. So we start with three, which is the mobility client. We click disconnect. The icon should go from green back to orange. we can now close the mobility client software. Once the mobility client software is closed, we can now disconnect from our AirCard Watcher software, clicking the disconnect button. 
Once it's disconnected, we can now close the Air Card Watcher software. Then, of course, the final step is now removing the Air Card from your computer. Please remember do not transport your computer with the Air Card attached. You risk damaging the Air Card. So, again, one, two, three, three, two, one. One, plug in your Air Card. Two, connect with the Air Card Watcher software. Three, connect with the Mobility Client. Now, when you're leaving, three, two, one. Three, disconnect the Mobility Client. Two, disconnect the Air Card Watcher software. One, Remove your air card. Okay, so remember, with a little bit of preparation, this tool can be very useful in the field. Don't forget your 12 to 24 hour ahead of time preparation so that your device is ready to go. And then when you're in the field, remember, one, two, three, three, two, one. One, plug it in. Two, air card watcher software. Three, mobility client and then the reverse when you leave the home. We hope you find this tool valuable and supports your work in the community.